Uh, whilst I cannot give any confirmation at this stage around uh, fatalities and casualties, what I can say is that it is clear that this is one of New Zealand's darkest days. Clearly what has happened here is an extraordinary and unprecedented act of violence. Many of those who will have been directly affected by this shooting uh, may be migrants to New Zealand. They may even be refugees here. They have chosen to make New Zealand their home and it is their home. They are us. The person who has perpetuated this violence against us is not. They have no place in New Zealand. There is no place in New Zealand for such acts of extreme and unprecedented violence, which is, it is clear this act was. For now, my thoughts, and I'm sure the thoughts of all New Zealanders, are with those who have been affected and also with their families. My thoughts also to those in Christchurch who are still dealing with an unfolding situation. The advice from police continues to be that um, people remain indoors. I acknowledge uh, that that may mean that some families are separated, but please continue uh, to listen out for uh, information as it comes to light that's been directly provided by the the New Zealand Police with further information. But as I say, they please remain in lockdown. We are potentially still dealing with an evolving situation, and again, as I say, across multiple sites. Please be assured, though, the police um, are actively managing the situation. Uh, Christchurch Hospital is dedicated uh, to treating those who are arriving at the hospital um, as we speak uh, as well. As soon as I leave here, I will be returning um, directly uh, on a, a King Air flight to Wellington. Agencies are already convening in Wellington. I will be looking to meet with them as soon as I land. It's my expectation that once I arrive and have been briefed, uh, I uh, intend uh, to speak again publicly after that point. I'm happy to take questions. Uh, look, it was only a matter of a few hours ago, of course, that I was um, uh, advised of the uh, situation and that it was an evolving situation. Uh, again, uh, public reporting took place not too long after events began unfolding. Um, but as to the precise details, um, at, at this stage I'll wait until I have uh, a bit more of uh, precision from a briefing um, directly from the police when I arrive in Wellington. At the moment, the police, uh, although they uh, have stated that they have one offender in custody, they have advised that there may be other offenders. Uh, they are dealing with multiple scenes as well, so I can confirm that. And I acknowledge that you aren't in a position to uh, confirm uh, deaths or injuries. Uh, what can you tell us about that? Uh, no, I'm, I'm not currently in a position um, to confirm uh, the number of deaths or injuries, but I have to acknowledge people can see uh, images live from Christchurch. It will be obvious to them that this is a significant event uh, and I can tell you now this uh, is and will be one of New Zealand's darkest days. What do we know about the offender if anything? Is there any confirmation around age, ethnicity or even nationality? Uh, I'm not in a position to uh, give those details at this stage. Um, police, as I say, have um, apprehended someone. They are in custody as we speak, but I'm simply not in a position to give details uh, around that individual, um, that suspect at hand. And the uh, again, I'm, I'm not in a position to give any further detail about the individual that's currently in police custody. There, are, there is a potential for other suspects still out there. At, at this stage, the police are um, continuing to advise uh, those who are in the area to remain indoors. They have said that they could be dealing with other offenders. That's why they, of course, are taking the approach of ensuring people's safety. Uh, and so until uh, people hear otherwise, I ask that they listen to the advice that are being given directly by the New Zealand police. The nature of the crime, would you describe it as a hate crime? I would describe it as an unprecedented act of violence, an act that has absolutely no place in New Zealand. This is not who we are.
Are you able to expand on why, any, any reason as to why it may have occurred? Is there any indication around that? Well, certainly um, it uh, has occurred in a place where people should have been expressing their religious freedom where they should have been in a safe environment, uh, and they have not been today. Uh, there is no place in New Zealand for such extreme acts of unprecedented violence. Uh, the people who were um, uh, the subject of this attack today, New Zealand is their home. They should be safe here. The person who has perpetuated this violent act against them, uh, they have no place in New Zealand society. Any other questions? I'm quite keen to get to Wellington now, so if you'll excuse me, um, I'm very happy to update you again once I've um, uh, met with agencies uh, upon my landing. Thank you.